Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China dismisses rumor of 4680 cells in Shanghai-built vehicles. Tesla shared a fresh look at its Dojo AI supercomputer at Hot Chips 34. Used EV prices rose five times more than combustion-powered cars in July. And, Tesla releases new software update with cloud-based driver profiles and a bunch of goodies. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla China cleared the air regarding rumors of 4680 battery cells being used in vehicles built at the company's Gigafactory Shanghai facility. According to a post, rumors have indicated that China-built Tesla vehicles are equipping the company's 4680 cell chemistry, which was unveiled two years ago at Battery Day. In order to protect the interests of consumers and in response to the special action of relevant departments to rectify rumors on the internet, the following explanations are made in response to several recent rumors about Tesla China on the internet, Tesla's customer support account wrote on Weibo recently. It makes two points, the first being that no Tesla vehicles built in China use 4680 cells. No matter what kind of battery is used, the products we provide to customers can meet Tesla's strict product requirements and well meet vehicle performance indicators such as safety, battery life, and acceleration, the account then wrote. Additionally, the company clarified that recent hype by some individuals about Tesla is about to change its model is a rumor that deliberately misleads consumers. Tesla then said that it would encourage people to point them in the direction of those who are starting these rumors so they can be held responsible. The second part of that quote was revealed by CEO Elon Musk over a year ago, as Gigafactory Shanghai was supplying Europe with cars, as Gigafactory Berlin completed construction, Tesla has dealt with major misinformation campaigns against it in China for several years. After dealing with numerous fabricated stories, including several that put into question the effectiveness of Tesla's braking systems, the company started suing those who made up stories about their vehicles failing. For now, 4680 battery cells are being utilized for Model Y builds at Gigafactory Texas. Suppliers such as Panasonic have already started sending test samples of the cell to Tesla, as they will eventually begin producing the battery for the electric automaker. Tesla produces the batteries in-house in California, but plans to begin manufacturing the cells at Gigafactory Texas by the end of this quarter. Moving to the next update, Tesla shared a fresh look at its Dojo AI supercomputer at Hot Chips 34. Tesla shared a fresh look at its Dojo AI supercomputer at the Hot Chips 34 HC34 conference, according to Serve the Home, which attended the conference. Tesla held two talks at the conference, one on the microarchitecture of Dojo, and another one on Dojo's system on wafer solution. Tesla recently upgraded its GPU supercomputer to 7360A100 GPUs, making it top 7 by GPU count. However, this is not enough. This is where Dojo comes in. On AI Day last year, Tesla revealed that it was building the Dojo supercomputer in which each node has its own CPU, memory, and communication interface. During the conference, Tesla's software engineers who worked on the Dojo supercomputer shared new architectural features for the first time, such as the Tesla Dojo instruction set. Other key features of Dojo mentioned at the conference included Dojo's arithmetic formats, system network, and its ability to root around dead processing nodes in the software. According to Next Platform, one thing we have to look forward to at Tesla AI Day 2 is hearing about the performance of the Dojo system. Next Platform also noted that Emil Talps, an autopilot hardware engineer at Tesla, who worked at AMD for almost 17 years on several Opteron processors, gave the Dojo presentation. The defining goal of our application is scalability. We have de-emphasized several mechanisms that you find in typical CPUs, like coherency, virtual memory, and global lookup directories, just because these mechanisms do not scale very well when we scale up to a very large system. Instead, we have relied on a very fast and very distributed SRAM storage throughout the mesh. And this is backed by an order of magnitude higher speed of interconnect than what you find in a typical distributed system, Talp said at the end of the presentation. 
Moving to the next update, used EV prices rose five times more than combustion-powered cars in July. A recent analysis from automotive search engine service IC Cars has determined that used EV prices have risen five times more than their combustion-powered counterparts in July. During the month, electric vehicle prices saw an increase of 54.3% year-over-year, while gas-powered cars were up just 10.1%. According to IC Cars executive analyst Carl Brower, the rising costs of used electric vehicles in the market shows that the demand for second-hand sustainable cars is soaring. The firm's analysis involved the costs of over 13.8 million one- to five-year-old used vehicles that were sold between January and July of 2021 and 2022. The gap between used EV prices and used ICE car prices has only gotten more prominent this year. In January, for example, second-hand conventional fuel vehicles saw a 36.3% rise in cost, which was not too far from the 54.1% exhibited by used electric cars. This gap has grown significantly over the past two months. This was quite evident with vehicles like the Nissan LEAF, which saw a 45% price increase year-over-year -year in July 2022. Another affordable electric car, the Chevrolet Bolt EV, saw a price increase of 29.3% in the same month, which was also quite substantial. Interestingly enough, Tesla saw a more tempered price increase in the used EV market in July. Used Model Ys only saw a 13.6% price increase year over year, used Model 3 sedans saw a 16.2% increase, and second-hand Model X units saw a 19.7% rise. Only used Model S sedans saw a notable price increase of 27.5%, which may be due to the influx of refreshed variants that were only released last year, like the Model S Plaid. Demand for used versions of the Model 3, Model X, and Model Y was high last year before the rise of gas prices, because they were relatively scarce in the used car marketplace, which helps explain why they have not had as steep of a yearly price increase, Brower added. Interestingly enough, the Porsche Taycan was the outlier in July 2022, becoming the only electric vehicle that I see cars tracked that saw a price decrease in the used EV market. The prices of used Taycan units only decreased by 3.5% year-over-year, though Brower stated that this might be a hint that car buyers may have an upper limit to what they're willing to pay for used EVs. Moving to the last update, Tesla releases new software update with cloud-based driver profiles and a bunch of goodies. Tesla has started pushing a new software update to its fleet with several new features, including the promised cloud-based driver profiles and a bunch of goodies to make your Tesla experience a bit better. This week, Tesla has started the wider release of its latest software update 2022.24 through 2022.24.5. The update comes with new features and previously released features that are now making it to more vehicles in Tesla's fleet of now over 3 million cars. One of the biggest new features is the introduction of Tesla Profiles, the integration of cloud profiles promised by Elon Musk last year. The feature aims at making it easier to keep your preferred driver settings across multiple vehicles, including when renting a Tesla vehicle, which is becoming increasingly popular through the recent deal with Hertz. The software update also brings the ability to reposition the blind spot camera feed to different positions on the display to more vehicles. For owners with premium connectivity, Tesla is also slightly updating how it shows slower traffic conditions along your navigation route, by now making the different colors part of the route line on the map, instead of along it. In the update, Tesla is also adding the ability to disable sounds on sentry mode. To prevent disturbing neighbors, you can now disable the sounds made by sentry mode. Mobile app notifications will still be delivered. To enable the setting on the touchscreen, tap controls, safety, sentry mode, disable sentry sounds, Tesla wrote. The new update also brings to more vehicles the new driving behavior that includes automatically applying regular brakes when regenerative is limited. This is something that Tesla started rolling out earlier this year, but it is still making it to more vehicles through new updates. 
The new 2022.24.5 also includes a few small changes that are not documented in the release notes, like the ability to uninstall video games on the Tesla computer to free up space for others, and timestamps on tire pressure readings. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.